and welcome to the next part of my Nintendo 64 game collection video. Uh, just before I begin to show you the next part of the collection, I'd just like to thank everybody for all of your feedback, comments, uh, I really appreciate it. And I hope to pass on some of my knowledge about collecting Nintendo 64 games, so if you like what you see, please remember to subscribe and let's get on with the games. So the first game for today is Blast Corpse, this one was uh, a rare game. Uh, rare made a lot of the best Nintendo 64 games as I've talked about previously. Uh, this one's a bit unusual from what they normally do. This one's a bit, a bit kind of, the only way that you could describe it is a demolition game. Um, you've got to stop a nuclear warhead from going off and basically by clearing everything in its path. There's tons of vehicles to choose from on this one, loads of different missions. Um, a really great game, really innovative and it's a shame that they never made a sequel for it, but if you can play this one, it's a fantastic game. Ridge Racer 64, um, pretty much a standard Ridge Racer racing game. If you played any of the other ones, then this will be really familiar to you. The graphics are pretty good on this one, um, but again, there's not really a whole lot in here to sort of keep you coming back. It's a fairly standard racing game. Uh, the same drift mechanics that you get in the PlayStation version of the game. Still fun to play, but definitely not one of the best racing games on Nintendo 64. A controversial one, this one's Mischief Makers. Uh, now, I'll start off by saying that I know this game gets great reviews. Um, uh, everybody raves on about how good the bosses are, the levels. It's a 2D side-scrolling platform game, but I've tried so many times to get into this game, but I just can't seem to you know, enjoy it. Uh, maybe I need to give it a few more chances, but uh, I know a lot of people will disagree with me, but this is not one that you should be in a hurry to go and pick up. But it is apparently a great fun game, and I've seen and heard about the bosses, and the boss levels are fantastic. Um, but uh, maybe I need to give it another chance. Space Station Silicon Valley. This one's um, a great little game. It's a cross between an adventure game, a puzzle game, and a platformer. Um, really unusual the fact that you actually control a silicon chip and uh, in order to complete the levels you've got to go sort of possess or take over and insert yourself in an animal. Um, not really sure inserting yourself in an animal is something that we should promote but hey it's only for a game that's a little bit unusual, really different, nothing else like it and this is a great fun game to play. Loads of levels, good challenge and the graphics are pretty good as well and there's nothing else like it. Pilotwings64, if you've just caught my video review, I've just uploaded that for this, so uh, check it out. Uh, one of my favourite Nintendo 64 games. Uh, it's one of the launch games, so it kind of got overshadowed by Mario 64, which was a shame because this is a really great solid game. Um, loads to see and do, some great level design, the graphics are good, frame rate solid, controls nice, and all in all, it's a really great game to play. It's nice just to sit back and relax because it's not too hectic, and you can kind of play this one casually. Fighting game, uh, this one's Rakuga Kids. There's not too many fighting games on the Nintendo 64. This one is really unusual. It's got a cartoon artwork style, so it's generally aimed more towards kids. Um, the actual game itself is really solid, um, quite a sort of slow speed to it, so it's not one of the faster ones which are available on the console. Um, but all in all, a little bit different, and this one's quite rare to pick up in PAL region, so um, I'm kind of glad that I've actually got this one. Iggy's Wrecking Balls. Well, this one's a really bizarre game. They don't make them like this anymore. Um, what can you really say about this one? It's kind of like, a, well, I suppose you call it a racing game, but uh, it's really weird, a really strange game. Um, it's, if you play like Uni Rally on the snares, it's kind of sort of similar in the way, except this one's a 3D one. Um, it's an okay game. It's not one that you're going to be, you know, playing for you know months on end, but um, a relatively solid game. Nothing special. A little bit different. Uh, in terms of the racing style of it, but uh, not one of the best games on the Nintendo 64. And the final game for this part of the collection video is Tetrisphere. Uh, if you played Tetris games before, you know, sort of 2D drops from the top of the screen downwards. This one's the same sort of mechanics using the Tetris shapes, but this one's actually based on a sphere, so you've got to position them on a spherical object. Um, yeah, it's a puzzle game, pretty standard. Um, it's not as good as you know, obviously the original Tetris, but it's a different take on it. There's loads of different Tetris games available. This one's generally okay. It's a little bit of fun, 
Um, and if you like your puzzle games, this one's a really great one to get on the, on the Nintendo 64. So that's all for this part of the collection video. Um, I will be back soon when I get some more time to show you some more of my collection. Um, in the meantime, check out my game review videos and click subscribe because I do have some more competitions coming up to win. I've um, got three games in mind, uh, great titles, and you won't want to miss those. And if you haven't already, check out my other video to see the contest video where I'm giving away a copy of Banjo Kazooie and two copies of Torok 2 Seeds of Evil. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.